one of the great things about uh, Legis is he gets a very good selection of weapons. He can use most of the swords in the games. He can't use any of the axes. Um, the axes are typically weapons for Olven, but uh, like I said, he can use most of the swords, uh, which means he has really good attack power. However, his armor selection is pretty bad. Uh, he gets... He's got the same, like, chest piece selection as Valsu and Asuna, but he's got the most limited uh, accessory selection in the game, so that can be troublesome. His defense can lag behind, although he does have uh, certain ways, especially if you get good stat gains, uh, he can kind of... Uh, circumvent that in a way. Now, this is the only web, the only armor upgrade for him in uh, until you get to Bonro. Costs 440 gold and only raises your defense by one point. I actually recommend you skip that and just put the 440 gold into gems, and that way when you get to Bonro, you can just put that 400 gold directly towards better equipment because there is better equipment in Bonro. So, that is pretty much... Let, let's see if there's anything else to talk about before we... No. Let's see. Magic. You start with a fire one spell. It's basic attack spell. Uh, there is elements in this game. There are three elements. There is fire, ice, and thunder. And certain enemies are weak to certain elements. Uh, the only apprentice that learns thunder magic is Lux. So, that's pretty much an elemental... A defense that you can ignore. Uh, let's see. Let's talk about the stats. Power is your physical damage. Guard is your physical defense. Magic is both your physical offense and defense. Uh, speed in this game has nothing to do with turn order. Like I said, that's not how this game works. You get a turn, they get a turn. You get a turn, they get a turn. That's how the combat flows. What speed does in this game is it is purely hit percentages. The hit percentage in this game is basically uh, the the hit percentages in this game are derived from the differences in speed. If you're uh, faster than an enemy, you can hit them easier, and they cannot hit you as easy. So it is very beneficial to have a high speed. Uh, that's one of the things that Legis really has. He has a really good speed growth. Uh, his speed growth is a 4, meaning that uh, even if he gets the worst possible speed growth, his worst possible speed gains every level, he will still have the same speed as Camille would is if he got a fair middle road speed gain every single level, and which is not going to happen. I mean, sometimes he's going to end up with a 4, sometimes he's going to end up with a 5. Uh, it depends. You're more likely to end up with, you know, a 4 or a 5 than a 3 because, you know, just averages. So, uh, Legis is going to end up with a pretty high speed by the end of the game. Uh, his power and guard are uh, decent, and as is his HP and MP growth, uh, one of the things that I find, I guess, slightly irritating about Legis is they position him as a master of attack magic. Okay? Uh, basically, the way they position the, the three the three magical characters is they position Legis as a master of magical attack magic, uh, Asuna as a master of not really a master, but she can do lots of things. She can cast ice spells, and she can heal herself, and she can buff herself. And then they cast, and then you know, Valsu is a master of healing and buff magic. Well, Legis, you know, his magic growth is a only a three, which you know is okay, but it's not terribly good. 
so. All the other, the, both the other casters have magic gross of, of higher, higher magic gross, so, um, Legis's magic ends up being a little weaker. He does learn a few useful spells, though, uh, outside of his normal attack magic. So, anyway, next time on Seventh Saga, we are going to continue on to the next... No, no, I can go ahead and do it now. I'll just make this a long video. If it takes too long, I'll split it up into two and put both parts up. Or just put one part up. Anyway, this is how combat works in this game. Uh, what you want to do is, especially when you, whenever you enter a new area, the first thing you want to do is defend. That actually reduces the amount of damage you take and allows you to uh, get a big hit in on an enemy. Uh, that's useful because you end up taking less damage overall. Because if you take an enemy out in one shot, then the only time they've hit you is that one time that... You were defending. So, yeah. Now, in every area, there is one enemy that you don't really want to run into when you're uh, not prepared. And this is that enemy for this area. It's the Wyvern. Uh, the Wyvern can hit you up to... I've seen him hit me for like 10 points of damage. Uh, the thing that really makes them... They're very unlikely to kill you. Uh, but they do a lot of damage, and they have a really high agility, meaning that at this point in the game, if you get unlucky, you will miss constantly. And that can be very bad, because with the, that coupled with their higher attack power means you're constantly whiffing on them like that, that... You know, if that had been a wyvern, I would have died because they would hit me for four and five points of damage each one of those regular attacks. That's why you want to use the defend attack trick if you can, and uh, that's also why I used fire one on that wyvern to uh, hopefully one shot it. Because um, at this point, I'm not strong enough to uh, one shot them with a defend attack. So yeah. Anyway, this is Rapless, the second town in the game. There's a hidden potion one there. You want to grab that if you can. Sure, because, you know, we have to, to continue on with the story. So we want to come over here. Stay at the inn. The inn is where you save your game. You don't have to stay at an inn to save your game. Just tell them no. You don't want to stay, and they'll let you record your... Uh, your Pison, huh? Oh, well, that's not going to be important at all, is it? Oh, seems that this gate of earth being closed is really bothering a lot of people. Huh. I get the feeling that we're supposed to be that someone. King Limile is a real big hero in this game. Um, check over in this tree here. You get a protection seed. Seeds in this game are the stat boosting stuff. They give you a gain of one to four points. Uh, due to the nature of the game, I actually recommend you game the system and get the full four point effect of each seed. Uh, dog crying, huh? Hmm. Remember that four a bit later. show you a trick for beating the first boss. Okay. Grumpy old lady. Let's go check out the pub. Pubs are always a uh, good place to get information. This is not the pub, by the way. So she met another apprentice. Uh, weapon and armor shop, they don't sell anything different that Legis can use at this shop that they didn't have in the previous starting town. Uh, if you are playing as Camille or Olven though, stop in there and buy a new shield. It 
it's cheap. It's a free point of defense. It's worth it. Uh, this is a pub. All pubs will have that little swinging pub door thing. Okay. Let's talk to him. This gentleman seems to be unique. Oh, he's Gain from Bonro. You know what? I was going to do it anyway, but I will accept your bribery, sir. Thank you. Bribery makes me feel good. Anyway, just like busting. Busting makes me feel good. So, this is the second town. Really not much here. There is one more hidden item, but we can't get it until we defeat the first boss. It is underneath that old man right there for future reference. Now, let me explain to you what I'm going to do with the random battles. Uh, basically, I'm going to leave them in because you saw how fast they go. They go pretty quickly. And they don't really get much slower throughout most of the game. Uh, this being a Super Nintendo game, it's not like it has absurdly long load times. Uh, I will be cutting out all the grinding. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch me grind up five levels because to take on to reasonably take on the first boss you've got to be about level six and then for the next area you've got to be level nine or ten to really not have a whole lot of trouble without being over leveled of course so uh the reason i'm doing this is because i don't want you to I don't want to get into an interesting battle and then have been quiet and then right after the thought going, oh man, I should have left that in, but then it would have been quiet. So it's just easier to keep talking through the battles and if something interesting happens, you know, because uh, they're not quick. I mean, I will uh, pretty much what I'll do is I'll... I'll revise this as we go through the game, but for now I'm going to leave the random battles in while we're moving from point A to point B and so on and so on, and then just cut out the grinding. Uh, because the grinding is really not going to be interesting. It's pretty much going to be me walking outside of a town and trying to get five levels, and hoping I get blessed with the stat gains because I'm not going to sit here and, and game the stat gain system. Uh, that's just way too much work. So, uh... I'll see you guys next time on Seventh Saga, at which, which point we'll go to the Castle of Iran and confront Romus and try and get the key to Earth. So I'll see you then.